welcome back at challenge 10 i'm so excited to be in it and i can't wait to show you what i've done in this challenge but let's talk a little bit more about what we need to do in this challenge 10. so we need to create a new nail shape that has never been seen before not only with the hand sculpted, but we need to use the Armani Pro e-file as well. So this warrior suit is all about me representing in the fantasy film or game, whatever you want. And because I have orange hair, I think uh, some uh, green will just suit me well in this war of harness. For my warrior nail shape, we need to put two vertical nail forms in the lower arches because the shape will be very low. So just a tip, choose two fingers at the same time before you put your nail form, so it will be directly in a straight line. A great tip for extreme nail shapes is to use two files together with a plastic band and you can use it as a tweezer, so you have just the perfect side walls to create your extreme nail shape. One big reminder we need to know is that we don't use a lot of products to sculpt out our screen nail shape. So I will just use here the Brisa Plexi Build Gel in the color Spice Daffy and I cleaned out my line work with the Gel Flat Brush from Koopa. It's really helpful to apply an even product on the left and the right side to keep yourself checking. You can do that to look at the numbers at your nail form. We are almost ready to use a Money Pro e-file. To remove the nail form, we can use a spatula to loosen up our product and then we need to take our nail form down. Just be careful. So here is the trick. We need to apply some more Brisa gel before we can file our extreme nail shape. I will use the Kanga file to really keep the straight lines in my work. It's really important to know how to use your e-file. I will use it underneath the cleaner bit to remove all the excess products in my nail shape before I can use a bigger bit. I'm a right-handed girl, so I need to put it in the forward drive to use my e-file. If you're left-handed, you can use the reverse mode. A big yes for me is are these sanding bands because they are just refining my nail shape. Pay attention to hold your position of your e-file against the nail, because it immediately will change the shape of the nail. For filing straight lines, I like to stick with a regular hand file, but just keep on checking yourself between filing. A great tip to file two narrow sides of an extreme shape properly is to use the file against file technique. Just watch out for the tiny parts in your design. This nail's getting more shaped, so this is fun to see because with the e-file you really can change and adapt every shape you want or the desire to create. Clean out all the filing lines. Just be careful for the tips. Koopa's Artfinity Triptech Acrylic Color Powders include three techniques in this base. Ombre nails, 3D art and dipping nail system. So let's put on this ombre on this long nail shape. I will use a paper towel on the table to work clean. Scoopers adhesive for this part of sugaring, we will apply it very thin. For the color in the base, I will use the color Green Fairy. If monomer gives you a headache, this is just the perfect solution for in your nail salon. And I also think for the ombre effect, it's just perfect to use it in this way. The colors I will use are the Green Fairy and the Little Sister mixed by 50% of the white, so I can use them as a sugar in my design. This is so much fun and quick to do, I don't think I ever made so fast an ombre effect. I want to create my own dark teal color, so I will use the green, the blue and the yellow to create this really dark green color. For the 3D relief we want to create, we don't use too much product, just a little bit and blend it out. It's really easy to use your brush in the flat position to create this line work and to clean out all your work and parts. We can use it in as a highlighting technique and just be careful with your liquid as well. Don't use it too wet and don't use it too dry. 
Ooh, now we need to create something beautiful for our armor of our nail design. So I will use some golden wire and I twist it around my two fingers to really get this curly shape. After that we can alternate it in our position and we can glue the parts together. Just use a tweezer because your hand glove will stick to the glue. Here is some beautiful parts for my armor. I still want to clean out a little bit more on this nail shape, so I will use a reversible nail file and I put it on the spatula for little tiny details in my nail shape work. Why I will do it is because the matte top gel is also left a little bit more like a film layer between the color and the shape. So I want to add more 3D parts and if I add it, you will see it. That's why I need to remove the matte top gel from this part. I have a great tip as well. If you want to add 3D parts with nail glue and you don't want to wait, just use the hurry up spray. It's in a second dry and you don't see it. So just quick, don't you think? This is just a fun trick to share with you, a dragon scale look. Just use a dotting tool in the wet acrylic and then you can use the wet acrylic powder in a really red way into the color again so you will tap it out it will just melt together in your design these wires give my ultimate warrior look on my nails so i think they're just gorgeous and just perfectly fitting in my design with some extra beads and bullions and swarovski you can make it all just stunning thank you for watching this was challenge 10 and i hope to see you next week so see you bye Thank you.